Hello guys, uh, Dan here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's uh, short video I'm going to show you how to paint uh, Onivaban for the GSA army. The thing that is interesting here that he mostly have like only two or three colors uh, usually uh, because all the outfit is dark with a little contrast uh, paint uh, on their armors just uh, to make it interesting. Uh, so I will show you in this video how to paint uh, mostly grays and uh, black and uh, without further ado sit back relax and uh, let's do it I started uh, with uh, priming the model black uh, with the three very thin layers uh, from my airbrush or you can use the spray paint, uh, the effect will be the same. And then, uh, because I wanted this uh, under armor to be bright red, uh, first I'm going to use a sunny skin tone as uh, my base color, because uh, after that when I put uh, red on top, uh, it will look uh, very vibrant and very rich in color while uh, that won't be possible if we just uh, paint red straight uh, over the black uh, undercoat. Uh, my choice of the red will be a scarlet red uh, from Vallejo and this is actually airbrush paint so it is already uh, very thin uh, and it flows uh, really nicely from my brush so actually what I did is that I use it mostly straight from the bottle and I applied one uh, very thin coat uh, over the sunny skin tone and as you can see uh, this red is really vibrant and it will make a good contrast uh, towards the black on this model. After that I'm going to use a red tone uh, just to add a little shadows uh, to these armor scales. Uh, if you don't have the armor tone you can make uh, like uh, from some very dark red a wash and just uh, wash this uh, very lightly so it goes inside the recess. You don't want to put a heavy thick coat because you will lose the details because they are very tiny on this model. While I'm waiting for this wash to dry, I will start working uh, on his uh, black armor and on his uh, pants, uh, which are actually a little grey. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a uh, little white and black. It is like 60-40 mix. And I'm going to start uh, putting uh, first uh, highlights uh, on the pants. And as well, I will start working on the metal armor panels that he have. I will start doing edge highlights, but uh, with the li little thicker lines. Uh, when you start working on the metal uh, panels, uh, try focusing uh, your highlights on the raised areas uh, from where the light will come on, uh, like uh, on the top of his helmet and uh, on his back as well. After I'm done with that, uh, I'm going to move uh, on the pure white and this time uh, this is going to be only edge highlight and it will be the tiniest, uh, thinnest uh, possible lines. So I will mostly focus using the side of my brush whenever is that possible. I will try to make like a 45 degree, maybe to 90 degree angle and use the side of my brush uh, to leave a, a really small amount of paint and make those lines. Uh, when that is not possible, I will use the tip of my brush and I will just carefully draw your lines. Uh, this will be done on the most parts uh, of this model, uh, but I won't do anything on his pants uh, yet. Uh, for the pants I'm going to make another mix uh, with uh, black and white, but this time I'm going to add a little more white than the 
in the first step. Actually, you can uh, adjust this up to your liking and this will be the final highlight for the pants. Uh, at this stage, I'm going to get focused only on the most raised areas and the folds of the pants and do a little highlight. And I will leave it like that at the end. Uh, for this uh, red armor panels that he have, I'm going first to add a little more white to the red and then I'm going to do a very tiny highlight I'm going to put the dots and then for the second pass I'm going to add a little more white so it will look really like a desaturated red like more on the pinkish side and uh, this will be enough to make it uh, pop and uh, to make a really nice contrast uh, comparing to the rest of the model Uh, for the handle of the sword, I'm going to use a royal purple and because this detail is uh, really small and it's not that big part of the model, I'm just going to paint it first with the royal purple and then add a few drops of white into it just to create a highlight color and I'm just uh, going to put a few dots uh, just on the most raised areas uh, of this uh, handle just to create a highlight. Uh, for the scabbard, for the sword, I'm going to use a chocolate brown and I'm going to paint a whole area with this color. I'm going to paint it actually in uh, two very thin coats uh, to have a good uh, tone of this color. And then for the highlight, I'm going to use the orange brown. And actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw some worn leather effects. So I will use uh, first a little of orange brown and I will put it on my tip of the brush. And I'm just going to do a little stippling on the sides, or I'm going to draw a little scratches, like a little straight lines. And then after that is dry, I will repeat the same process again, so I will get a little brighter effect. Now I'm going to paint his sword, and for this I will use a dark green, a golden oval, and a escorpena green. Uh, first I'm going to apply a dark green over the whole area on the sword, and this will be my darkest green. And then I will start uh, blending the rest of the colors uh, on the middle part of the sword. So I will leave my brightest point uh, of the swords to be in the middle, so I will paint like the middle uh, two fourths of the sword uh, with the golden olive and then the most middle part I will use escorpena green. Uh, while the paint are still wet uh, on my brush I'm just going to try to blend this and mix this color together and uh, the more you repeat this process uh, the smoother uh, will color be. Uh, so do it uh, as much as you want. And then to finish off uh, with the sword I'm just going to use a white and apply it as an edge highlight and I'm going to put like a three diagonal lines uh, where my blends match just to create like a fake uh, light reflection. And the last detail that I'm going to do this model is to paint his uh, yin yang symbol of his, on his gauntlet. And I will use a flat blue and then just a little highlight with the white. And that will be all for now. I just made some asphalt base and put him on it, a very simple base. If you're interested how, I will include the link in the description section down below. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments or suggestions for the future, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to reply. Uh, this will be all for now. Stay safe, take care and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.